Right lads, Manchester. Finally made it to Manchester. I would say between Manchester and the next place I'm going are probably two of the most highly requested places in the whole of the UK. And as you know lads, these videos are not cheap to make. You gotta pay for flights, you gotta pay for accommodation, food, most importantly, pints. So that's why this video is kindly sponsored by the lads over at Surfshark. Been working with Surfshark for a good while now. They've always been good to me, so I need you to be good to them. Surfshark, if you don't know, is a VPN, a virtual private network. It's an app or web extension that means you can place your phone or laptop anywhere in the world. Anytime you go to search anything online, we all search weird shit from time to time. It keeps everything totally private, any emails, passwords, all that stuff you use, totally kept private. Keep the hackers away to fuck. And then the best thing about Surfshark, because you can place your phone or laptop anywhere in the world, you can gain access to shows, movies, live sporting events that you wouldn't usually have. So the Premier League is back a few weeks now. If you want to watch Match of the Day, but you don't have the BBC iPlayer because you're in Ireland, onto Surfshark you go, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, change your location to London or anywhere in the UK. There you go, watch Match of the Day, the footy to your heart's content. And if you head over to Surfshark, use the code Guinness, you can get 83% off plus three months for free. They're basically giving it away. Manchester, let's fucking have it large. All right, lads, here we are, Manchester. I've got my red-ish top on because Manchester is red United till I die you on the footy but it's not a football channel it's a Guinness channel Guinness Guru looking for the best point of Guinness in Manchester a long 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 overdue video and the, th the crazy thing is I've never had anything like this where it's it's not so much people have been requesting me to come to Manchester it's people have re been requesting me to come to this one single pub called Mulligans every Every couple of days I get a message, go to Mulligans in Manchester. It's not go to Manchester, it's go to Mulligans in Manchester. And then when I, as I always do, I put out on Instagram, where is the best point of Guinness in Manchester? I mean, I've never seen such a landslide of recommendations. I got so many recommendations well into the few hundreds and Mulligans must have been genuinely 80, 90% of the recommendations. So if Mulligans isn't a 400 out of 10, I'll be very disappointed. But first, but we've got other matters to attend to, we've other pubs to go to, and we have to give them all a fair shake. First pub we're heading to is O'Shea's. Right lads, the bloody down man that. I, I, I couldn't see him but I feel it. So I came in, uh, barman, knew the crack, knew the girl that was in town, the big bad wolf. Um, but but he, he basically said, um, yeah, no problem, take a seat, I'll bring it down to you. My gut says that he possibly poured it twice, which doesn't affect me. I don't mind waiting an extra couple of minutes. He took his time with it. But maybe he didn't, but because he fairly perfected the dome on that, there was a couple of little bubbles in the head, which don't look that great. But apart from that, it's a clean glass, new style glass, again, we can't complain. Doesn't feel extra cold. The taps, I got a shot of the taps actually, they look normal. So maybe Manchester has copped on that no one wants the extra cold, and it's for bloody plonkers. Anyway, that's about settled. Domage on that. Dome wasn't built in the day. Domey on Juliet, Domer Simpson, check, is good. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this was initially not just not blown away. I hope you can hear me over the loud music in here. Initially, like, not blown away. Um, looked very good. You know, it's a little bit kind of. I was in the again. I don't even know if it's going to be in this video, but I was in the smallest pub in Europe, uh, just around the corner, the Circus Tavern, 
and I got a pint where the dome was shite. There was no dome on it, it was anti-dome. But it tasted unreal. It probably tasted a little bit better than this. But um, yeah, this is this is fine. Like there is a few bubbles in the head, which I don't really like the look of. But it's grand. This place just kind of gives off like everyone flocks here on a Friday and Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, late night. It just gets locked and they have probably live music and it's just go crack Irish bar. But the standard of point probably isn't that good unfortunately. Um, one thing I have to say is the Guinness memorabilia in here is second to none. Unbelievable. I got a few of it with the camera. Got a few of the bits with the camera. So a lot of stuff that like I've been doing this Guinness stuff a long time, well three years, and I've seen a lot of memorabilia. A lot of the stuff they have in here I've never seen so very impressive selection of memorabilia in here. There's a very Irish feel off the place, which is always good. Nothing better than a big fat Irish flag hanging above the bar to tell everyone, yeah, this is an Irish bar. Yeah, as good as, as, as well as the pint was poured, I don't think it could have been poured any better. Just not tasting that creamy to me. The head's going, head is staying thick, but it's going a little bit yellow. There's a good few little micro bubbles in the head. Um, just, I don't know, it doesn't taste the freshest. Again, like it probably is freshest. I'm just pulling this shit out of my ass at this stage, but like, just tastes like it could be a bit fresher, could be a bit, I don't know, cleaner, could be a bit nicer. Um, but it's grand, you know? There's a cover on in the background, because I'd be worried that I'm gonna get copyrighted when there's a song on the background and then YouTube like you can't monetize this video because there's a song playing in the background blah blah boring boring but this is like a cover of Remember the Darkness I'm gonna give a thing called love but it's hardly on live there is a stage around there but it's hardly a guy banging out the guitar at 4 o'clock on a shagging Wednesday maybe it's just a cover they're playing covers are fine for me because you don't get copyrighted but you don't care about that you care about this juicy stuff to be fair big fat thick head on it a big tick, hadn't you? You can see there, like, the I drink these pints so fast. And the only way to get good stick is if you drink the pint very fast. You even see when I do the podcast with guests, even in Walsh's, an unbelievable pub. You don't get good stick if you take half an hour to drink the pint. So I've drank that very quick, and the stick is okay. Nothing special, you know? Not really. It's only about two inches wide. Two inches is plenty though, lads, don't worry. Ah, stop it. But yeah, no, take head to the end. Um, taste just isn't really there for me. Like, it's not that creamy either. It looks super creamy, but like, taste and creaminess are the two best, two number one things. Temperature is good, but glass was clean. Taste and creaminess just, just not up there for me. I mean, pretty average point to be honest with you. Looked good, taste. They were a bit, leaves a bit to be desired. I'd give it a, would I sit here and drink a few more? Yes, was it gross? No. Was it lovely? No. Was it bang in the middle? Yes. I give it a 6.7 out of 10. Um, yeah, just nothing to really write home though. Love the bar, very cool Irish bar. Some of the best Guinness memorabilia I've ever seen. But I suppose if you've got the memorabilia, the next thing is to work on the pint, I suppose. All right, lads, behind me is one of the most unique pubs I think I've ever seen. The Peveril on the Hill, I believe it's called. A sort of standalone pub. It's not connected to any other buildings. It's on the corner. Reminds me a little bit of Bittles in Belfast. That has kind of on the corner, probably narrow at one end, wide at the other. Um, well, yeah, a very unique, a very English, I would say, looking pub and just really cool. Love it from the outside. Let's see what the Guinness is like. Yeah, how are you? I've followed you for a while. Yeah? Huge fan, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 
Hi, how are you? All right, mate. Thanks very much. And some babies, you know the drill. Right, it was packed in there. It's the maddest pub I've seen in a long time. I'm gonna have a sip of this before it goes off. Not much damage. Obviously, a bit of a mad-looking glass. Um, I, I don't know the name of the glass. I'll put it on the screen again. I don't claim to be Mr. Technical side of Guinness, but I'll have a swig. Apart from that, it looks good. No bubbles in the head. Head could be a tiny bit bigger. Could have a bit of better damage. Feels like a good temperature. It's launching. Bit of a weird sort of fucking twang off of that. This is a mad situation. Yeah. Right as the time is now, the rain is pouring, there's a very ominous feeling about the whole thing. I've got my good friend Kotze is joining me behind the camera, he's getting pissed on, we'll try to make this quick. I, ever since the Gravediggers, I've never had a more requested pub than Mulligans of Manchester. People don't say go to Manchester, they say go to Mulligans in Manchester. I've heard they have an all-style glass, I've heard it's a good point. There's so much hype about it, it would want to be good. Let's get the fuck in out of the rain. All right, lads. How are you? What's the crack? Find the Guinness, please. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Fucking drenched. Oh, baby, we got an all-star glass spotted. Hi. Right. Did you go through my manager, did you? <laughs> your agents? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, right. yeah. I'll wait till you get your baby and then. No problem, yeah. Sounds. Excuse me. How are you? Hi. Ross has just said to me to introduce myself. I'm Peter. Peter. I'm the one that looks after our kid, is Good. Oh, I think I will by the looks of it. Yeah, I'll hop in there, yeah. I'll chat to you after then, yeah? Thanks very much. Right, let's do this. Better drink this before it goes bad. Right lads, the, it seems, the, the look of it anyway has lived up to the hype, but I'm gonna drink it before it goes bad. Serious damage on top, poured to perfection. Head could be a millimeter, to, uh, millimeter bigger, but I won't complain. All side glass, that glass looks like it's been through about 400 mouths, but I don't mind. It's actually M21 on the glass, so it means it's only from last year. Looks like it's living up to the hype. Let's see what the taste is like. Launch of Mulligans of Manchester, finally. Barman staring essentially into my eyes who poured it. It's fucking good, I'll give him that. Thank fuck it's good. I always say it'd be so awkward when you come to these places that have been hyped up so much and then it's happened before and I go and just get an average point and I go fuck's sake um, that's good shit that is good yeah definitely living up to the hype oh baby tastes like home Katsy tastes like home oh my god that is fucking good what else can you say? It's quite cold, but not cold enough to be extra cold, but it's, I prefer it to be too cold and too warm, wouldn't anyone? Um, really nice pub, really nice decor, just Guinness, I've noticed that about a lot of the places in Manchester, there's Guinness stuff everywhere. And of course, you mighty Reds, United stuff, George Best stuff everywhere, Alex Ferguson, all the lads, Roy Keane. But it's not the soccer guru, it's the Guinness guru. I have to say, I'm sure there was people hoping that all the hype would not live up and that Mulligans would fall on its sword. But that will not happen today, lads. That is, for the UK, that is exceptional.
I mean, like, it's so obvious now why the the call for Manchester, why ninety five percent of the requests for Manchester were mulligans. There doesn't seem to be a decent point in the city apart from here. I mean, that is just. If I went into maybe not the grave diggers, but if I went into a good pub, one of my top five pubs in Dublin, and got that. I probably wouldn't bat an eyelid. And that is saying a lot. Also, like that, shtick, top to bottom, creamy rings, perfect temperature, class, fucking, no bubbles in the head. That is serious. And I've just drank it in about two seconds. I don't know how they've done it outside of Ireland, but I'm I'm saying it now, and this is not because of the hype. I don't give a fuck about the hype. I think I would say this anyway. I'm saying this now. Best pint of Guinness I've ever had outside of Ireland. Get ready for this. You won't believe it. Eight point four out of ten from Mulligans of Manchester. The hype was unbelievably high. The standard was set and they've met it. A guy introduced himself earlier. He said, uh, my name is Peter. I look after the Guinness here. What kind of a pub says that? I, like, I'm the guy who looks after the Guinness. That's when you know what's good. Proper Irish boozer. Mulligans of Manchester, you did not disappoint. 8.4 out of 10 as as up there with any decent point around Dublin honestly unbelievable there you go cuts that is fucking unreal we're staying here for about six hours <laughs> <laughs>